Welcome to CIC Tutor. In this video, we'll be continuing where we left off. That will be our solutions to question 5A part 2 and 5B in the May June 2014 Mathematics Paper 2. Okay, in our last video, we did question 5A and we found the enlargement of the figure given by a factor of 2. Now 5a part 2 asks us now to describe the transformation as you would go from the triangle ABC that would be our original triangle to the transformation M. So on our diagram here A is the point 1 2 and A prime is the point 5 minus 3. So we want a way to represent this type of transformation. How do we represent transformations? Well simply the best way to do it is to count how many squares across you went. In this case it would be four squares across and how many squares down? one two three four five five squares down okay our transformation M is going to be the mapping that takes our original X and Y coordinate to the new location that is X plus 4 and Y negative 5 Okay, so this is one way of representing a transformation or you can represent it in the form of a column vector which should be m is equal to 4 minus 5 as a column vector. Okay, so these are two ways you can represent transformations. Moving on to the next question, we have 5b saying the diagram below not drawn to scale shows the positions of two ships P and Q at anchor. FD is the vertical face of a cliff jutting out of the water. P and Q are 118 meters apart. FT is equal to 80 meters and the angle FPT is equal to 40 degrees. On inspection, I will say this question is a trigonometry question simply because part one is asking for the angle of elevation of T from P. So imagine you were standing at P and looking up at T. Our angle of elevation in this case should be nothing more than 40 degrees. Okay, that is part one. Part two now say, asks us for the length of FP. So the length of FP would be this side here. We know that this is our opposite. This is our adjacent and this is our hypotenuse and we have a right angle triangle. So from our knowledge we use Sokato sine over hypotenuse adjacent over hypotenuse tan opposite over adjacent. Okay. So let's examine our right angle triangle. We want to find this side, which is the adjacent side, and we know the opposite. So we should be using tan. So part two, tan 40 degrees is going to be equal to 80 over FP. If you want to find FP, that will be equal to 80 divided by tan 40. Which is going to be 95.3 meters. That is our answer for part 2. Part 3 asks for a little more working. In that we have to find the angle of elevation of T from Q. So we want to find this angle here. 
okay to do that we would first find the length of this full side here which which would be by adding our 95.3 plus our 118 so 95.3 plus 118 is going to be equal to 213.3 meters. Now that we know the full length of F to Q, we can work on finding our angle at Q. We do this by finding the tan inverse of our opposite would be 80 and our adjacent now will be this full length that we just calculated tan inverse 80 over 213.3 and that will give us an angle of 20.6 degrees so this brings us to the end of B part 3 if you enjoyed the video please like share or leave a comment below thank you for watching